Welcome back! Today we're gonna show you a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on building REST API security using Node.js, Express.js, PostgreSQL, SQLize, and OAuth2. Until now, OAuth2 is still very popular in REST API, web and mobile app development for security or authentication. So, we will rewrite the comprehensive tutorial on building REST API security using Node.js, ExpressJS, PostgreSQL, SQLize, and OAuth2 using the Express OAuth Server module. This tutorial divided into several steps. Step number one, create ExpressJS projects and install required modules. Step number two, and SQLize and Express OAuth Server modules. Step number three, create or generate SQLize modules and migrations. Step number four, create an Express controller. Step number five, implementing OAuth 2 REST API endpoint. Step number six, run tests, secure Node.js, ExpressJS, PostgreSQL, and OAuth 2. In this example, we will show you a simple OAuth2 grant types that mostly used in mobile or web applications. They are password and reface token grant types. So the OAuth2 endpoints can be slash OAuth slash token with different grant values for password and reface token. Also, we will add the additional endpoints for sign up and secure API endpoints. The following tools, frameworks, and modules are required for this tutorial. Node.js, PostgreSQL Server, ExpressJS, SQLSJS, Express OAuth Server, Terminal or Command Line, Text Editor or IDE, Postman. We assume that you have installed the PostgreSQL Server in your machines or can use your own remote server. We are using PostgreSQL 12.3. Also, you have installed Node.js on your machines and can run Nodes, NPM, or Yarn commands in your terminal or command line. Next, check the versions by check these commands in your terminal or command line. That the versions that we are using. Let's continue with the main steps. Step number one, create ExpressJS project and install required modules. We will create a new ExpressJS applications for REST API using Express Generator. Open your terminal or not command lines, then go to your projects folder. First, install Express Generator using these commands. Next, create an ExpressJS app using this command. This will create ExpressJS projects with the AJS view instead of the JET view template because using the dash dash view equal AJS parameter. Next, go to the newly created projects folder then install nodes modules. Open these projects with your text editor or IDE. To using Visual Studio Code, just type code space point. You should see this structure of XPCS projects in the IDE. There's no few yet using the latest Express Generator. We don't need it because we will create a REST API. Step number two, add SQLize and Express OAuth Server modules. Now we will install all required modules such as SQLize, PostgreSQL, Bcrypt, Express OAuth Server or Node OAuth 2 included, Body Parser, PostgreSQL. Type these commands to install all of them.
Also, we need SQLite CLI to generate config modules, shaders, and migrations. For that, tell these commands to install SQLite CLI globally. Next, create a new file at the root of the project's folder. Open that file using your X editor or IDE. Then add these lines of codes. That files will tell SQLite initializations to generate configs, models, shaders, and migrations files to the specific directories. Next, tell these commands to initialize the SQLite files. That commands will create config, config JSONs, models, index.js, migrations and shaders, directories, and files. Next, open and edit config, config JSON file. Then change the username, password, database, and dialect. The same configurations for all the environments except the database name. Before running and test the connections, make sure you have created a database as described in above configuration. You can use the PSQL commands in the terminal or command lines to create a user and database. You can use this command to create a new role or user of PostgreSQL. In our example, this user is already exist and grants the permissions to create a DB for this user. Quit this PSQL console with this code. Then log in again using the new user that previously created. Save these commands to creating a new database. Then give that new user privileges to the new database, then quit the PSQL. Step number three create or generate sequelized models and migrations. We will use SQL GLI for generating a new model. Tap these commands to create required models for OAuth authentications.
those commands create the model files to the models folder and the migrations files to the migrations folder. What we need is associations between models or tables and additional functions inside the modules. Next, modify models or auth user JS. Add a new method to auth user models that converts the plain password to the encrypted password using bcrypt. Also, associations with OAuth tokens. Next, modify models or auth tokens JS, then add the associations to auth clients and auth users. Next, modify models or auth clients JS, then add the associations to all tokens so the all or auth clients will look like this. Step number four create an express controller. We will put all of writings or also functions to the controller. For that, create a folder and controller file. Open this created file, then import or declare or equate models and the backrip module. Export, export a modules that operates get access tokens functions to get the access tokens from the database model. The OAuth clients models and OAuth users models as the requirements of the results data should contain client and user. Otherwise, the request will return error could not find access token. Export the modules that operates the get clients functions to get the clients data from the database model. We add options row true to make the query returns as a raw object. Otherwise, the nodes or auth server could not find the clients.
exports modules that authorize the get refresh token functions. To get the refresh tokens from the database model, this time we add the include options to get the associations models of all our clients' models and all our users' models. Then build the response with the additional clients and user fields. That additional fields is required by nodes or out to server to make get refresh token functions working. Export the modules that operates the get user functions to get the users from the database model. There are two steps to query the user. They are by username, then execute bcrypt compares seeing the passwords with the password from the founded user. Export the modules that authorize the save tokens functions to save the access tokens and refresh tokens to the database model. These functions depend on previous functions, get clients and get users, the tokens generated by the nodes or auth server modules. As you can see, there are additional client and user fields required by node OAuth server. Next, export a module that operates the refog token which used to get refresh token. Next, export the additional functions that save a client's and user data to the database. Step number five, implementing OAuth REST API endpoint. We will use an existing express route to implementing the OAuth REST API endpoints. Open and edit routes in the XJS, then add these imports or requires modules.
and main declarations to the Express OAuth Server modules with the models using OAuth controller that previously created. And the main REST API routes to get access tokens or login. And the road to save a new client data. Add a road to save a new user data. Add a road for a secure endpoints. You can add another secure endpoints determined by router or auth authenticates functions. Step number six, run and test secure Node.js, Express.js, PostgreSQL, and OAuth2. We will use Postman to test the secure Node.js, Express.js, PostgreSQL and OAuth2 REST API. First, make sure the PostgreSQL server is running on your machines, then run these Express applications from the terminal or command line. It looks like we have an error in a models with an array. Let's check the models OAuth clients JS. Oh, this is And also, we will modify the migrations file for OAuth clients. Before continue to the test of this REST API, we need to migrate all models to the database table. And run again the Express.js server. Start the Postman applications. Then run, then run the request to the secure endpoints. The endpoints were returned a status 401 unauthorized. Next, to save the client data to make this all to working, follow these Postman parameters using method post the URL OAuth set client with authorization OAuth headers content type application JSONs and body using the raw body with the value clients ID client secrets redirects URIs and grants and then sends to the REST API. Here's the successful response from the REST API. To register a new user, go to URL OAuth sign up with the method pose with authorization with no auth headers content type using application JSON and body using raw body with username, password, and name fields. Then click the sense button. And here's the successful response from the REST API. To sign in to the OAuth server to get the access tokens, we will use basic auth and authorization with username and password that previously created or saved using the set client's post. And the headers, we will use content type, application JSONs, and the body, we will use xwww form URL encoded with the fields, username, grant types, and password. And click the sense button.
we have an error in this line in all controller JS. because we're not using included for this create query. So we will use an existing client ID for the clients and user ID for the user. And let's check the result now. Now we have successful response with access token, token type expires at and refresh token. Now copy the access token, then back to the secret area, add the headers, authorization, and forget to add a bearer prefix, then the access token value, and then click sense button. Now here we go, we had the status successfully with the response secret area text. To refresh tokens, use the same postman parameters as the sign in and copy the previously successful refresh token from the sign in. And add this field to x www form url encoded refresh token using the previously generated refresh tokens and grace type to refresh token and click the send. And here we go the response from the REST API. That is simple implementations of OAuth 2 in Node, XSpace, and PostgreSQL REST API. You can get the full working source codes and the article link in the descriptions below. Thank you.